I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the pattern on this balloon. It kind of looks like a murder scene. <laughs> Hello everyone! So today I will talk about art styles while I eat this whole cake. No, I'm just kidding. I will talk about art styles though, but I won't eat this whole cake. Not on camera anyway. So you know that once in a while I collaborate with Pilot Nordic, which is the North European branch of the art and stationery supply company Pilot. And Pilot was founded in Japan in 1918, which means that they're having their 100th anniversary this year. So I guess happy 100th birthday, Pilot! So to celebrate, Pilot has released some of their pens with a new design made by the artist and the designer Mika. Pilot Nordic, that is also sponsoring this video, so thank you, were kind enough to send me a whole set with all the designs so that I could show it to you guys because it is pretty awesome. And Pilot is that kind of company that I've always been sort of aware of because there has always been some of their pens laying around at home when I was little. So it is really cool to be invited to celebrate with them, even if I'm doing it alone at home. But anyway, ta-da! These are so freaking gorgeous. The colors and the pattern are so playful and unique. There are 24 pens in total, all with different designs, so I'm gonna use these pens and some other Pilot products to create a festive little illustration. And while I do that, I thought it was perfect opportunity to discuss a subject that I want to talk about for a while now, which is art styles. Do we need an art style and can we have more than one and how do we get one? I can't promise we will reach any conclusions since I am pretty good at rambling, but hopefully it will be a little informative and entertaining at least. Also, before I continue, there will be a little giveaway over at my Instagram account where you can win a limited edition friction pen and a bunch of refills. So head over to my Instagram to enter. It is limited to European countries only though, but don't worry, there will be more giveaways in the future. So, art style, do you need one? Well, if you are a hobby artist or a beginner, I honestly think it is more important to focus on having fun and to draw and to practice and not worry too much about finding art styles and stuff. But if you want to live off your art and if you are doing it as a job, I do believe it is important to develop some sort of style that is specific for you because people will recognize your work more easily and they will know if your art is something that they want, if they are looking for something specific. And of course, even if you are a hobby artist, you may still want to find your style. And it isn't always easy, but it isn't impossible either. So how can you find your art style? I personally believe that it will come natural for you if you just keep drawing and practicing. And it isn't something that you have to actively look for. But here is one thing that has probably helped me a lot and that is copying. Disclaimer, you should never ever copy someone else's art and claim it as your own because that is wrong. But for the sake of learning, copying is great. I copied and traced all the time when I was younger from comic books and from the internet. I remember I found this one artist on DeviantArt and I printed a bunch. I think I printed all their art actually and I kept it as an inspirational booklet to myself to draw from and to copy and I learned so much from it, all from anatomy to line work to coloring. I spent a whole summer just drawing from the prints and that is also why making fan art is so great. And the good thing with copying is that it will get you used to drawing and since you don't have to worry about coming up with your own things and ideas, you can just focus on drawing and practicing and get used to drawing certain things that may be hard to come up with yourself and then you can start to create your own things from that. What I did was finding artists which styles spoke to me in different ways and by trying to draw in their styles I could pick out the specific things that I liked from that style and add it to my own. So pick out the good parts from the style that you like and incorporate it into your own art. Perhaps you like the way one artist makes the line art and the way someone else draws noses for example. And perhaps you like how one artist does the coloring. And the more you draw and experiment and practice the more natural your own style 
that will appear and you will find out how you prefer to draw certain things and once you feel more comfortable and have a good base to stand on then you can refine it even more and make it more you. So that is one way that may be good for newer artists, but you could also just sit down and come up with a new style on the spot and start using it right away. Sometimes it isn't harder than that. What kind of style do you want? Sharp edges, thick outlines, small head, big head? Try it out and if you don't like it, move on and try again. Don't limit yourself because the best thing with art and with drawing is that you can pretty much do and create anything that you like. So can you have more than one art style? I've expressed my concern about this in a previous video that I thought that I had too many art styles and I don't know which one is my own anymore. And the answer to that is, and it may seem obvious, is that all the styles that I draw in are my own styles. And as some of you guys pointed out, even if I do use different styles or mediums, the art style and what is me, my initial style so to speak, is still shining through. And I realize that it is true. For example, I have a way of drawing sharper angular lines and shapes mixed with a bit of roundness and softness and I rarely change that because that is the way I like to draw lines and the way I color and shade I usually transfer that between the styles and the art mediums. So I would say that I have a cartoony style and also a more realistic and semi-realistic style and I believe the cartoony style that I often use when I make illustrations for work for example has been pushed down a little in my more personal art space since I felt it is too simple and it has just been for work and for doodles and since it is more simple I thought it wouldn't help me grow as an artist so I have limited myself by believing I would limit myself by drawing cartoony if that makes any sense but now I want to explore my cartoony style even more because I feel that it is way more expressive than my other styles and if I practice even more on the expressions in my cartoony style, I can probably transfer that to my other styles too. So that is why I'm making this little illustration which I think is turning out super adorable. The cats are so cute. I love the different textures from the different pens and the solid colors from the Pilot Pinter paint markers and the cross hatching from the other pens. I even scribble a little with the pens on a piece of paper and use them as watercolors for a more transparent look on the balloons. So what I will try to practice on is trying to acknowledge this as art too. And it is just as important and real as any other of my art styles. Simple doesn't mean easier or less good in any way. So don't be afraid to try out new art styles and don't be sad or worried if you haven't found out exactly what your style is yet because it will come, I promise. Maybe you have already found it but you just don't know it yet. Compare your own art and see what is reoccurring in the different pieces. Try out different art mediums, experiment, learn, practice and find out about new things that you like to draw. And if you are perfectly fine with the art medium and the style that you already use, do you and be proud of it. I don't know how helpful this video was and I have definitely not gone through all the things there is to say about art styles so perhaps there will be a part 2 where we dive even deeper, we'll see. I hope you liked this video and the art, I had so much fun working with these limited edition pens from Pilot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!